Um, you know, this is the, the same situations of cross capitalism jumping from one party to the other party, and then you're right straight up there saying that uh, there is no chance for any other party. Um, why? Is, is it not enough for you to just defect and just keep your cool? Or you defect and you you are, you're putting down other parties? Can, can, can no, you? no it's, it's the problem with Nigeria, and of course with other uh, nations, are uh, jumping the boat into other parties. It's not new in our polity. People defect. There's this cross capital, across board. Uh, but like you said, the problem is when you jump, you start singing like a bird. And that is the point. And of course, uh, one common thing we know about political, uh, party policy in River State, in Nigeria generally, sorry, is that one thing is obvious, common interest. Interest is what comes from, uh, primarily in every political enterprise. It is not, there's no friend, there is no foe. One thing that is underlined and that is prominent is interest. So if a politician is jumping from party A to party B, it's normal. Uh, from what he has said, he said, from every research, every information available to him, the other party doesn't seem to have any chance. This is because in Nigeria, we have a problem with party politics. We do not have party manifestos that can be seen to be different from the other. If you look at APC manifesto, there's nothing fundamentally different from that of PDP. So being in PDP or APC doesn't, APC doesn't make any difference. The only thing that has to come into play is whether you are with the right bedfellows or not. Who are those that you are you know, staying with? So are they like minds? Do they have the kind of style of politics that you can play along with? Do they represent your interests? Do they represent the interests of your people? And then the, 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 the next consideration is pecuniary, you know, financial benefit, what they call belly politics, belly infrastructure. So people go to where they will benefit, not just in terms of deliverables of democratic dividends, not in terms of what they are going to deliver to the people, not in terms of proper representation to the people, but in terms of what they will get. Which party is in power? What can I benefit from party A or party B personally? When we, are talk we talk about interest in politics, I think that we should be looking at our interest in terms of the people's interests. Are the people's interests being protected? But in Nigeria, it is bell infrastructure. That is the interest. Now, we've come to a point where the National Assembly, that's what we're talking about, restructuring of our, our system you know, should come to a point, you know, it's even worse when people are jumping the boat, when they're already elected, as we are seeing in the National Assembly. For example, the YPP man in Anambra State recently jumped the boat to APC, because APC is the ruling party. He comes from a very minority party, but I have thought that what, happened, what is happening in the Assembly, National Assembly, is that the, the, the minority parties are so much that they can exert, come together as a block and exert some pressure on the ruling party. And with that kind of system, you cannot get proper opposition that can bring about proper check and balances in the system. But unfortunately, that is not what seems to be going on. What is going on is that people are just moving in droves and doing whatever they like, pursuing their personal dreams.